babies getting sprayed from the cradle to the grave. Just read the Willie Lynch. You are listening to the ever so powerful and important new single called Wish I Could. It's produced by Dub J. The track features a list of intergenerational Canadian superstar rappers. And this one carries an important message that we all need to bring to everybody's attention. That's right. We are talking about a serious topic, but I still need to give you guys a hype intro. This is record producer Dub J and the godfather of Canadian hip hop himself, Maestro Fresh West. What up, guys? Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Hi How's guys. everybody doing? Listen, good to see you both yeah. and good to hear this track because, mm -hmm. you know, Melanie has the unfortunate job of having to bring these headlines to everybody's homes every single day. And as musicians and producers, you're like, enough. Yeah. Enough is enough. So talk to us about how this track came to be, WJ. Yeah, so actually, coincidentally, uh, tomorrow is the one-year anniversary, you know, of the passing of Littles. Uh, you know, a prominent guy in Canadian hip hop, uh, you know, uh, scene. And I had just released a project with him 24 hours earlier uh, to his passing. You know, I got that call that he had passed. And then, uh, you know, it just seemed that, you know, I was seeing the shootings more and more uh, after that happened. It was more prevalent to me. And then, you know, the frustrating part to me was that driving outside of the city, it seemed, you know, anybody I talked to, no one knew about it. So uh, it was really frustrating for me, man. And, and, you know, I felt it was time artists needed to come together, speak up on this. Uh, so, yeah, it was just a couple months ago I, I had, uh, you know, placed a call to Little's best friend and business partner, um, voicing my frustrations again. And, you know, he just said to me, you know, if anybody could bring everybody together, it would be you. You know, you've been doing, you know, collaboration records for two decades with artists. Uh, so if anyone could do it, it's you. Uh, I accepted that challenge that day. Um, and here we are today, you know, a year later, breakfast television, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, man, and, and we're so glad that you all got together. You made the call to everybody and did it in a somber anniversary for you uh, tomorrow. So, you know, our condolences going out to everybody. Wes, you know, getting involved in a project like this, you've been around the city, you know, you've seen it. You've seen yeah. the violence. It's not something that's brand new here, unfortunately. Why'd you want to jump on the yeah. project? Well, first of all, I want to say a special shout out to Jordan, mm -hmm. my brother JD Era, <laughs> Biz Low, we pray for you. Turk, what's happening? Yeah. Rody and my brother represent the Rex Jellystone. Understand? Putting this together, this is like four generations right there. That's why it's so important. And that's, that's why it's the most meaningful record in Toronto right now, because this is what's going on. This is genocide that's going on with these young men. So I, when I was asked by Dub J to be on the record, I'm like, we don't make records, we make history. Mm -hmm. And this is history right now. We want to say something that hopefully inspire our community to go forth and forward because this is crazy and not only are you saying something so powerful so so important that continues on in this song but it's going to an amazing cause too can you talk to us about enough is enough and what it does absolutely well, enough, go ahead dub jake go ahead yeah so enough is enough this is just something you know we talked about that you know the record's gonna do its thing but we wanted something that continues on forward so we already see guys like turk with his turk foundation you know turkfoundation.ca you know, Biz Loke had just started up his own his own movement. Um, you know, there's a lot of power these to, things. Power to the people. Power to the people. Power to the people. And, you know, uh, and we want to see these things, uh, you know, get the recognition they deserve. So Enough is Enough is going to bring, you know, using you know all of our networks to bring national awareness to this, but also to the, the good things going on in the city. And, you know, you can hit up, you can hit up Enough is Enough TO. Look for this logo all over the city. You're going to start seeing that logo everywhere. Um, hit up enough is enough to.com enough is enough to on Instagram. I actually last night just just launched a filter too last night so everybody can show their support. Awesome. Hit up the Instagram page for enough is enough support. But I got a question though. I got a question, Dub J. Mm. Mm. Where are we on iTunes right now? Do Yo, yesterday was crazy. We hit we 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 hit number 14 yesterday oh, on man. iTunes. Um, we really oh, need man. we really need the support of people. You know, streaming streaming is great. The Spotify's are great, but we need people to get onto that iTunes and spend the dollar twenty nine and then and help us get up on those charts. Let's crack top ten today. Um, and the, and the money goes moving. towards the the money goes towards the community. You money know? going right back into the communities affected by gun violence. And and it is, man. And Wes, you know, we look at guys like Jelly, you know, and Era, guys that we've all come up with. You know, just talk to the kids in the communities right now that are a part of this that are involved in it you know that what's your message to them well my thing is this we, we are we trying to raise followers or are we trying to raise leaders yep. so like you understand we got mcs in their 50s 40s 30s and 20s mm -hmm. this has never been done before so what we're really trying to hit is those guys like the biz lokes the the, the turk with his own own uh foundation the turk 
the Turk Foundation, then Roni as well. That generation they're affected right now, that's the generation we got to look at because their words are so powerful. And we want to encourage those guys to be leaders as well so they can guide those that generation instead of being followers to be leaders as well. You're, you know, I'm just honored to be on the record, definitely. You're, you're also talented and humble, and I think that speaks to your success and using your platform for good as you do. And art allows us to do that, to empower us, embolden us so much. So this is also going to be part of a movie soundtrack. Can you talk to us about that? Yeah, I just I just found out about that. Uh, you know, the Sons to the Grave. They're, they're, they and again, like if you go to my website dubjmusic.com, you can read the elaborate story of just how many times you know the stars were aligning on this to make this happen. It was actually fairly effortless just because things were happening, you know, organically. And this is another one. You know, they were looking for a record. Um, you know, to really hit with the emotion of that movie. And when they heard this record, right, you know, like that, they said, this is the one, this is the record we've been looking for. Um, so I got that call just, you know, just yesterday, um, you know, that it's going to be in that movie now. Guys, Amazing. we're proud of you. We're thankful that you're doing this and getting the message out. This is very important. It's not just a south of the border problem. This is a Toronto problem that we need to address, and you guys are addressing it head on. We thank you for that. Everyone can pick up a copy, of course, Wish I Could, produced by Dub J on those streaming platforms. But go to iTunes and spend that dollar thirty and grab it. Guys, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Appreciate you. All right. Love y'all. Thank you. Thank love you. Love to you both. Love Take to care. everybody who helped make this happen. Mm -hmm. We'll be back with more BT right after this.